kids. Welcome to Wiggle Worship at Traders Point Kids Online. We are so happy you're here. Gather with your family as we continue our series called Blueprints. Today, we're going to worship together, hear a Bible story, and learn what to do when our emotions get the best of us. We will learn to stop, look, and listen. Hey everyone, my name is JP and I'm glad to see you today. I'm excited for Wiggle Worship today. I work here as a builder and I'm part of a construction crew that works together to build all sorts of projects from playgrounds to houses. That's right. Hey, I have an idea. Would you like to be my builder buddy? You can build with me today. Will you do it? <laughs> Great. Hey, before we start building anything, we have to get ready for work. While we're here on a job site, you have to put on something. That's right, a hard hat that helps protect our heads. So let me see you put your hard hat on, just like me. You ready? Hey, look at you. That looks great. Now, we can't build anything until we have our tool belt on. So you better go get your tool belt. You put yours on, I'll put mine on, OK? All right. Hey, look at that. Great job. Now we're dressed and ready to build. Let's get our bodies warmed up and ready by singing some worship songs together, okay? We can worship God anywhere. Did you love that? We can even worship in our pajamas. Are you still wearing your pajamas? That's great. Hey, let's worship where you are. Me too, right here. Let's go.
Hey, that was so much fun. Now it's time to get to work. I'm so excited to build today, but now I see dark clouds over there. I really hope we don't have to build anything outside with that storm coming. Uh-oh. Builders, that, what's that sound mean? Yeah, that's a sound coming from my boss, Dozer. Dozer helps us with the building plans for today. To listen to Dozer's message, we just have to click the button on our walkie-talkie. Come in, Dozer. Hey, so let's see you hold up your walkie-talkie and say, come in, Dozer, with me. You ready? Grab your walkie-talkie. Come in, Dozer. 10-4, Mac, we have a big problem. A storm is brewing, and I need you to build something to cover all of our building materials so that they don't get soggy from the rainwater. I know you can do this before the storm starts. Over and out. Outside? Dozer wants me to go outside and build us with a storm coming? Storms make me feel so scared. With all of those loud noises, I don't want to go outside. What? What am I going to have to do? Oh, yes, the light. You know, that light makes me know I'm getting my feelings out of control. But I think these signs will help me know what to do with how I'm feeling. Well, the first sign right here says stop and think about what we're feeling. Yeah, I'm really feeling mad, really mad. I'm definitely not feeling happy, can you tell? I feel a little sad, but I think what I'm really feeling is scared. Booter buddy, does my face look scared to you? Let me see you make a scared face. Now I stopped and figured out how I'm feeling. I need to, oh yeah, I need to look around and see what's making me feel this way. Uh, I'm feeling scared because Dozer said that I have to go outside and build something when a storm is coming soon. Oh no. When I look around, I see the storm hasn't come yet and, and I know Dozer wouldn't ask me to do something dangerous. So maybe I don't need to be quite so scared. Okay, now I've looked around to see what's making me feel scared. It's time to listen. It's always a good idea to listen to God's word when we're scared. And let's check in my with my friend Telly Toolbox. He always makes me feel good and listen to what he likes to say about God's word. And he has everything to fix every problem that would ever come our way. Let's listen to him now. Hi there, Builder Buddies. Listen up, have I got a story for you. Whenever you don't know what to do with your feelings, the best thing to listen to is a story from God's Word. Do my Builder Buddies know what God's Word is? The Bible. That's right. Long ago, God's people kept doing the wrong things and not doing what God wanted them to do. So for seven years, God allowed their enemies to rule over them. God's people were so scared that they hid inside caves in the mountains. Can you show me how God's people looked when they were scared? Let me see you all make a scared face. You do look scared. Now, their enemies, the Midianites, were so mean and were destroying all the food that God's people planted. So finally, God's people prayed and asked God for help. On the count of three, say help, like God's people did when they prayed. One, two, three. Help! Good job, builders. Because God was with his people, he heard their prayers and sent an angel to a man named Gideon. Gideon was scared that the Midianites would come take away his food so he was hiding as he prepared wheat. 
that's when the angel of the Lord appeared to him. The angel said to Gideon, Mighty warrior, the Lord is with you. Gideon did not feel very mighty. Remember, he was hiding because he was scared the enemy would come take his food. So Gideon asked the angel why God's people were having so many troubles. The angel told Gideon that the Lord would give him the strength to save Israel, but Gideon was still scared. So Gideon asked God to do something that would show that he was really going to help Gideon save the people. Gideon put a piece of wool on the ground outside his cave. Before Gideon went to sleep, he asked God to make the wool wet and the ground around it dry. If God did this, Gideon would know that God was with him, and he wouldn't be scared to do what God wanted him to do. So Gideon went to check the wool early the next morning. The ground was dry, and the wool was so wet that Gideon was able to squeeze so much water into a bowl. But Gideon was still feeling scared. So he asked God to do one more thing. He set out the wool again and asked God to make the wool dry and the ground wet. Builders, do you think God made the wool dry and the ground wet? Yes! You got it! The next morning, Gideon saw that the ground was wet and the wool was dry. Now Gideon was sure that God was with him and would give him the power to do what God wanted him to do. When Gideon was scared, God was with him. If you are feeling scared, you can pray and ask God to help you because he is with you too. Thanks for listening. Here's one of my special tools to help you remember what you heard from God's word today. When you're feeling scared, God is with you. You can use me to smash your fears away as you remember that when I'm scared, God is with me. That was great. Now that when I'm scared, I know God's with me. God's listening all the time. And he's hearing what's scaring me. And he smashes what's scaring me and those feelings away. Builders, you can give it a try to say this after me. When I'm feeling scared, God is with me. Yeah, me and you. And I don't have to feel scared anymore because I know that God is with me. You see, Builder, listen. When we stop, look, and listen, and see that God is greater than any of our feelings, and that He knows everything, that actually is a Bible verse, and we can all memorize it together. God is greater than any of our feelings, and He knows everything. That's in 1 John 3, 20. You say that with me this time. God is greater than any of our feelings. And he knows everything. 1 John 3, 20. That's great. That's great, Builder Buddy. On and off the job site this week, no matter what you're feeling, remember to stop, look, and listen to how you're feeling. You know, be sure to look around to see what you're feeling that way and why you're feeling that way. And if you're not sure, you can always look for help from your family, your teachers or your friends. Don't forget to listen. Listen to what God is saying in his word. And today, when we listen to God's word, we heard we're not scared anymore because God's with us. Let me hear you say it this time. One more time, you ready? When I'm scared, God is with me. You too. That's perfect. God's with you and he loves you, boy. And girls, listen, he's greater than any of our feelings. So let's pray to God right now and thank him. Dear God, thank you so much for being with me when I'm scared, especially. Thank you for sending Jesus who died on the cross for our sins. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you'll come back to the job site next week for another fun building project. But until then, I hope you have a handy dandy week. See you next time. 
If God says jump around, I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna jump, cause I can trust him, yeah, I'm gonna jump. If God says stomp your feet, I'm gonna stomp, I'm gonna stomp, cause I can trust him, yeah, he knows what's best, he knows what's best. Real still, I'm gonna freeze, I'm gonna freeze, cause I can trust him, yeah, he knows what's best, he knows what's best, so who knows best? lesson as much as I did. When our feelings get the best of us, we need to stop, look, and listen. Stop and realize how you feel. Look around to see why you feel that way. And listen to the Bible. And remember that God loves you. Be sure to sit down with a parent or someone at home and tell them what you've learned today. They also have some discussion questions for you. It was so fun hanging out with you today. We hope to see you again next week.